when we're dealing with scatter plots, one of the concepts that we need to talk about are residuals. Okay, there's something called residuals that we want to talk about right now. And um, we've just got a scatter plot right here. I'm not sure what the data means right now. That's not really important for knowing what a residual is. So eventually what ends up happening when you make a scatter plot is you probably want to come up with a line of best fit. And I'm just going to estimate my line of best fit to be somewhere right about here. Okay, the line of best fit gets pulled towards all of these points. Every single one of these points is pulling on this line of best fit. So some are being pulled down. These points below are being pulling it down. These points are pulling it up. But anyways, once you find your line of best fit, there are something called residuals. And the little formula for residuals is this. You take your observed value minus your predicted value. Well, the observed values are uh, basically the raw data that you have. Okay? You've collected the data in some way. Those are the data points that you have observed. And then we use all of these observed values, all of these points in our scatter plot, to eventually come up with a line of best fit. And the points that are on this line of best fit, I'm going to change the color of it so that we can see it a little bit better. But the points that are on this line of best fit, those are the predicted values. Okay, these, these ones that are the predict, predicted values are on the line. Okay, so how do we find a residual? Well, what we end up doing is we take just one of the points. Let's just say we took this point. Um, it doesn't matter which one. Let's just take this point right here. Okay, if I take that point right there and I take the observed value, okay, the observed value for your response variable, okay, that's what you're looking at, and you subtract away the predicted value which comes from the line, the line of best fit. So right here, the distance between these two smiley faces, these two points, the distance between the two would be considered the residual. Okay? If I take, I love it how I say okay, like I'm actually talking to somebody. <clears throat> you guys are, if you answer this video, then I don't know, does that mean there's something wrong with you? Probably not, but here we go. Let's take another point. Let's say this one right here is my predict. This is my uh, point, and I want to find the residual for this one. So this green point is my observed value. If I come straight down here to the line, and I take the value right here, the y value on this point, then the distance between these two y values is the residual. Okay. Um, so residual is not that difficult. Now there's a couple other things that you should know about residuals. And you're going to get two types of residuals. You're either going to get a positive residual or you're going to get a negative residual. So what is true if we end up having a negative residual? Well, a negative residual means that the predicted value or your prediction is too high. Okay, and let's talk through that there. Um, if I go back up to my scatter plot and <clears throat> I take this my I take this point right here with the smiley faces um, just as an estimate this number down here the y value for this particular point um, this particular smiley face let's say it was 10 and then the value the y value for its predicted value in the same spot that it goes with is 15. Well, 10 minus 15 is negative 5. So that should show you that the, if the residual is negative, right here I have a negative residual, if the residual is negative, then my predicted value is too high. I predicted that my y value would be right here, when in reality, according to this point, my y value was right here. Okay, so my predicted value is higher than my observed value, 
And that's what leads to this negative residual. So a negative residual, if you ever find one of those or have one of those, that means that the predicted value is too high. In contrast to that, if we have a positive residual, that means that the prediction is too low. And once again, a positive residual means that the prediction is too low. And we can see that with this, with the green points here. If this, the Y value right here is uh, 8, and this one down here is 4, 8 minus 4 is positive 4, so I have a positive residual, which means that my prediction, remember the prediction is on the line, the prediction right here was too low. I have a positive residual, so the predicted value was lower than the actual observed value. And that's really right now all you need to know about residuals.